So um, I'm going to talk also on behalf of my colleague, clearly. Thank you. Yes. Um, who is actually the person who is following all the technical uh, procedures, analytical methods, and together we are clearly trying to make uh, the archaeological frame of the work. But uh, our project... Uh, um, okay. I presume there is a, a quicker way of uh, making it uh, work, but in any case, uh, we started, uh, well, almost 20 years ago, in the late 1990s, uh, with a project uh, um, which was the first one in northern Italy, um, which saw the collaboration of uh, geologists, uh, petrographers, and archaeologists. Actually, it was uh, led by a petrographer, Claudio D'Amico, and it was aimed to try to uh, identify the sources of raw materials, greenstone raw materials, and uh, analyze the circulation of all these materials in northern Italy. Uh, our region, which is uh, Friuli Venezia Giudia, it is uh, the northeastern region of, uh, of Italy. It is uh, uh, at the head of the so-called Capitadrie. Was interested in the project uh, because uh, uh, there, there is a uh, how can I manage without? Uh, okay. Um, sorry, I go on this way. Uh, the, there is a, a particular site, a Neolithic site, uh, Samardentia, uh, which is extremely rich in greenstone. It is uh, certainly a farming village uh, with uh, quite a lot of uh, radiocarbon dates, uh, um, indicating a life, uh, a rather long life uh, from. Uh, the middle of the 6th to the middle of the 5th millennium. Uh, unfortunately, well, we, they have basically pits. Uh, um, they have been studied largely, but unfortunately, uh, almost all the greenstone um, come from surface uh, um, surveys and not from these pits. So I want to point one of the first problems of this site, uh, many extensive uh, analyses because almost all the pieces, nearly 300, were all analyzed uh, with both non-destructive and destructive uh, techniques. Uh, but the correlation between uh, the materials and the dates uh, is still uh, very difficult. Uh, in any case, uh, it was possible uh, already at this uh, in this part of the project uh, to um, identify the main source, uh, which is in the northwest part of northern Italy, Piedmont and Liguria, an area which then was largely studied also by Pierre Petraken and, uh, and his equip. Um, not all the materials uh, of the site of San Mardenca, in any case, uh, come from there. There are many local, presumably local, rocks used uh, and the point is one of the point is uh, we have a length of time of over a millennium we have a high number of uh, artifacts which are mainly uh, mainly axes uh, there are also some bracelets and other items but uh, uh, stone axes are uh, the prevailing artifacts uh, so how did they come mediated by other uh, cultures of, uh, of what for us is the early Neolithic, probably this is uh, the right question, the right answer. This area in the central pop lane, the Fiorano, which had the Fiorano culture, uh, contemporary to um, Samardentian in the second half of the sixth millennium, might have been uh, uh, the um, connecting area also because we have uh, many um, pots ceramic items in Samardenkia, which are very similar to those in Fiorano. But in any case, uh, how did they come? How many times? Uh, um, we don't know, actually, but I just wanted to put the problem on the table. At that time, I mean the end of the 1990s, our part, uh, the easternmost part, uh, the Karst, uh, where I work, actually, I and Federico basically work, uh, was a void, as you can see, uh, because at the time of the, of the project uh, we worked on uh, shaft hole axis, so basically copper age, basically, but not only copper age in any case. 
um, the materials from Samardenke and some of the materials from Samardenke were actually studied later on also by the equipe of Pier Petrachen within his uh, very big project. The technique was different, it was a spectral radiometry, the results were almost the same. Um, you, well, at least uh, those of you who work on, uh, on the European uh, Greenstone problems know that uh, um, uh, within his project, Petra Ken was able to create uh, a typology, but it was a typology basically of, on long um, X hats. Uh, it has uh, longer than 13.5 centimeters. And I think that this may be a problem when uh, you try to uh, include also materials which are different and are shorter and presumably have functional um, destination into this type of typology, uh, which is basically created, as I said, for a long axis with presumably uh, prestige value. Uh, a, chrono a chronotypology which uh, spans uh, uh, almost uh, three millennia from the six onwards and uh, um, allowed uh, uh, the colleagues to create uh, this uh, map of distribution where you can see that uh, um, greenstone basically jade, uh, an on facade, high, high pressure metal of your lights, uh, coming from uh, uh, especially two sources in Piedmont and Liguria, Monviso and Begua, were distributed all around the western part of, uh, of Europe, uh, already in the 6th millennium and then in the 5th millennium. But they occupied basically the western part, uh, with few exceptions, especially few items that uh, maybe you can see here along the eastern Adriatic, Adriatic coast, the northern eastern Adriatic coast, where few objects, uh, really long axes, were found. And I stress uh, uh, this item, which is uh, on the Kirk Island in uh, northern Croatia, because uh, I will resume it later, it was found in a place out of context. Many of these in, in our region and in this part, uh, at least uh, in this part uh, uh, of, uh, of Europe, uh, have been found uh, uh, out of context. But uh, the Kirk Island is an island where, uh, till uh, recently, uh, there were saline. This means there were the production of uh, salt. Uh, and presumably, that is my hypothesis, I will uh, go back to that later, uh, this might be an attraction uh, for um, groups, human groups and basically shepherds moving along, uh, along the coast in this case. We, uh, at that time, this, uh, <coughs> this map uh, is produced, uh, was actually published uh, in 2012, we added uh, more pieces to this uh, uh, part of the, of the European region earlier because, uh, uh, um, as I said before, we started working on shaft Alexis, but later on we moved also to um, x blade or x axis um, x heads, and uh, we included the materials from both uh, um, excavations, new excavations, and also old collections, museum collections. So um, we basically um, worked uh, on the Caput Adri region. Uh, we had already included in our, in our study um, materials coming just uh, from the northern part uh, of the eastern Adriatic. Uh, we tried to put that in context, also working, well, not only, not really working, but uh, considering also materials of other, of other type, especially uh, obsidian. Uh, in fact, we have some pieces of obsidian uh, coming from Lipari in all this uh, area, but also some, uh, some pieces coming from the Cartesian. Uh, we will see that uh, that is an, quite an important point for us. These studies were possible within a new project, uh, which we started uh, uh, in the early uh, 2000s. As I said before, first focused uh, on uh, shaft hole axis, uh, and uh, many of them coming from uh, Western uh, Slovenia, and in particular for uh, quite an important site, uh, a series of sites uh, in the so-called Lublansko Barje Moors, um, pile dwellings uh, uh, of the 
actually 4th and 3rd millennium BC. Uh, nevertheless, also there, uh, blade axes, blade hats uh, were found. And again, here the problem is, uh, are they um, pertaining to that, that period, those periods, or are actually left over from uh, uh, previous periods? That's a question, clearly, an open question. Then later on, as I said, uh, we included also uh, X, uh, X heads, uh, just also the, uh, the one from the Kirk Island, which is uh, kept uh, uh, in uh, one of the museums in, uh, in, uh, in Istria. Different uh, sites, uh, different locations, different contexts, and I think this is a very important point to, to discuss on, because uh, the value of sites uh, uh, bears upon the value of objects and vice versa. So I think uh, um, uh, we will try to discuss, presume, I presume, also on this later. The, um, within our project, uh, uh, the collaboration of different institutions or of different partners was very important because uh, of the possibility of uh, uh, using traditional methods and uh, using also innovative techniques. Um, the project was made at the University of Trieste with the collaboration of the International, International Center of Theoretical Physics the multidisciplinary laboratory where Federico uh, works at, at present, then Elettra Synchrotrone, and also the Institute of Archaeology of the Academy of Sciences uh, in uh, Ljubljana. Then others were added uh, according to where our materials pointed to. Um, as you can see, non-destructive and destructive te techniques. I am not a specialist, but if you want, we can try to go again. Um, over to these uh, problems uh, later. This collaboration, as I said, uh, this collaboration allowed us uh, to work on both old collections and new excavations. One which was particularly important was that in one of the caves uh, of the karst, actually the Slovene karst, but very close uh, to the Trieste karst, where we have uh, 180 caves uh, with archaeological materials uh, and uh, inside uh, some 50 greenstone artifacts, mostly axes, uh, both, uh, both uh, um, X heads and uh, shaft hole axes. Uh, but uh, uh, this cave uh, in the Slovenian cast, Besta um was recently discovered and excavated and uh, uh, dated, which means, uh, as you can see, uh, the second half, well, actually, uh, from uh, 5,700 to almost the end of the, fifth, uh, of the sixth century. Uh, the point is, uh, it is quite interesting because it is a closed context, and it is the one where, for the very first time, uh, um, there was find a, a well, a drawing, probably. Uh, it is strange, but in any case, it is the only one found uh, today. Um, we continued um, also the axes found in our caves of the Trieste cast were studied, but not all of them, so um, we still have problems. But one of the problems is not only of uh, uh, identifying the provenance of the, of the rock, but it is also that of understanding the meaning of finding uh, uh, stone axes within caves. Uh, I heard before that uh, there are other situations. It will be quite uh, interesting to uh, understand why, uh, because certainly in caves uh, uh, these axes cannot have a functional use. So um, in our project, we also identify the sources which uh, uh, are different from the most commonly known uh, uh, high-pressure um, high metaophyllites uh, uh, from northwestern Italy. And these pieces are much fewer in comparison, but indicate quite different directions of provenance. In particular, we have few, really few, three, four, um, shoe last axes. Um, they are made, uh, three of them are made uh, uh, from fine grain, cream uh, colored cryptocrystalline rocks, uh, and the possible area of provenance is the Vika region in Croatia, where there is also an area of production. An area of production have been, uh, has been um, identified. 
Mm. But probably um, uh, the provenance uh, was mediated, uh, uh, the movement was mediated uh, by Dalmatia, um, because also there, there are some finds, uh, similar finds. In, the, in one of the cave of the Trieste cast, we have a very similar, from the typological point of view, object, but in, clearly in a different rock. And uh, that piece uh, was associated with uh, one single piece of uh, uh, Cartesian obsidian. So mixed influences clearly, already in the 6th millennium, and also uh, continuing in the 5th millennium, and in particular already in the fifth, uh, half of the, of the 5th millennium, we have some uh, shaft of Alexis uh, made from uh, northern Bohemian beta basites, uh, Again, found in few pieces, but uh, identified through careful analytical methods. So we are sure about the provenance. <coughs> and this provenance uh, uh, have made us uh, hypothesize that uh, there might have been, during already in the 6th and certainly in the 5th millennium BC, two basic areas of uh, use of uh, different sources of uh, let us call it uh, greenstone in brackets. So uh, the Western Europe uh, were clearly jade from uh, the Alpine sources uh, prevailed and a, an Eastern area where on the contrary, uh, Bohemian metabasites uh, were largely uh, produced and distributed. So uh, if you want to um, conclude by saying that uh, we also have clearly to think about uh, a cultural interpretation of all this situation, we must ask why, and one possibility would be for all these movements coming from different uh, areas uh, that uh, pastoralism was, which had been uh, identified in, especially in cast caves, uh, was uh, responsible for all these movements. Uh, and as I said before, probably also natural salt availability, because we have some materials already in the sixth this millennium, which would uh, allow us uh, to at least uh, put forward this hypothesis. Thank you for your attention.